Tonight, the fiance of a woman attacked by a bison at Yellowstone National Park breaks his silence, talking to 12 News about the encounter. Team 12's Colleen Socorro with photojournalist Richard Prang have the story of what happened to the couple. It was supposed to be a nice getaway for Chris Whitehill and his fiance Amber Rogers. Escaping the the grind of, of our lives. Just 12 hours into their vacation, they were enjoying their morning coffee and the scenic wildlife outside their lodge. When we were walking down, spotted one bison about 25, 30 yards away, and he was just grazing. And I told Amber, I said, hey, let's just move away and give him his space, which we did. And, you know, being an an outdoorsman myself and you know i hunt and fish and i i know that you know you have to have respect for for any wild animal out there that's when chris noticed a second bison 60 yards away rolling in the dirt we just kept moving away kept moving away and i told amber i said do not run it wasn't enough the bison charged at amber he had struck her head on and she was airborne uh, I think she did like one or two backflips in the air, and I was screaming and yelling to try and distract distract him. Amber was airlifted to a medical center in Idaho, three hours away. She suffered multiple fractured vertebrae and two collapsed lungs. Yeah, I mean it's just it's been I've replayed it so many times, and it was such a freak accident, and you think. Okay, well, we're taking precautionary measure. We're we're doing what we have been told to do to stay safe, and it wasn't enough. The incident is still under investigation. Yellowstone National Park officials say it's mating season for the bison, and they can be unpredictable. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks. Amber is expecting a long recovery, and Chris has set up a GoFundMe to help with medical expenses. We've put a link to that on 12news.com.